Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle with 31 Triple Doppler. I have to hold on tight to that umbrella tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting ready to say, hang on to your bonnet because you they're going flying. <laughs> Whatever you're using <laughs> to keep the rain off, <laughs> keep a good grip on it. Yeah, yeah this sort of uh, situation with the uh, strong as the winds are outside of any rainfall, I don't know if the uh, umbrella is going to be of much use to you. No, so, probably yeah. not. Yeah. Just better to stay inside. Uh, the good news is most of this active weather is going to be coming while we're already inside. Uh, trying to sleep, although the wind may keep a little noisy out there. That's really our main story, although, yes, there are are going to be some rain and some thunderstorms coming on through, but it's the widespread wind that we're already seeing and that we're going to continue to see. That's going to be the primary weather story later this evening and on into tonight. Winds have been gusting above 30 most of the afternoon. By the time we hit 10 o'clock tonight, notice those gusts go above 40. Not out of the question. We may see a few spots with wind gusts 50 or even a little bit higher than that. And that's why there could be some problems, not just with things blowing around. Maybe your trash can ends up down the street. That would be the least of our concerns. But perhaps a few trees come down as a result of this, and there could also be some power outages as well. So anticipate that with the high wind overnight tonight. Notice uh, after 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, there's going to be a marked drop off in the wind gust. So this will come and go, but nonetheless, uh, could be uh, somewhat impactful for some of you before the night is out. Uh, we'll also see impacts from rainfall. Although right now, Way 31 Triple Doppler pretty quiet across the area, picking up some rain here on the western edge of North Alabama. But in particular, as you head back into northern Mississippi, you run into some rain and thunderstorm activity. And with time, we're going to see that spread on in as we work our way through the overnight hours. Let's show you the very latest here with future radar cloud cover out there right now. As we work our way into this evening, we'll begin to see a little bit of wet weather come into the shoals in northwest Alabama. It'll really be after midnight, though, for most of us uh, before we start seeing any substantial rainfall. This is around 1 o'clock in the morning. Rain and some embedded thunderstorm activity stretch from Haleyville to Russellville to Muscle Shoals, and there is at least a low-end chance there could be an isolated severe thunderstorm out of this. We work our way towards 4 o'clock in the morning and that leading edge of rain and thunderstorm activity reaching the I-65 corridor, including Athens, Decatur, Huntsville, down to Coleman. We work our way into the late night hours. This is around 4, 5, 6 in the morning. And at this point, the heavier downpours and some rumbles of thunder will be confined to parts of Jackson, Marshall, and DeKalb County. Still some trailing rain back behind this to I-65 early in the morning. But as the morning wears on tomorrow and we hit lunchtime, Rains out of here and will likely even wrap up your Tuesday with some sunshine. Now, here's your severe weather risk through tonight. The area in green across the shoals in northwest Alabama. That's a level one risk on our scale of one to five. So again, won't rule out an isolated, strong to possibly severe thunderstorm out of this. But we got some limiting factors that are likely going to keep the storms below severe limits. But again, even outside of that, we're talking about those strong wind gusts. Those will be the main things we will watch for overnight into tomorrow morning. Gusts up to 60 in some of those isolated stronger thunderstorms. Maybe a little flooding, although rain amounts probably going to stay below two inches in most areas. And uh, we rarely say there's zero chance for a tornado, but I will say in this sort of setup, very, very low chance that that would be something we'd have to be concerned about. But we'll keep an eye on that for you as the storms come through tonight. Your lows back into the upper 50s to around 60 in most areas. Tomorrow we have the rain in the morning and then we dry and even break up the cloud cover into the afternoon, climbing through the 60s most of the morning and through early to mid afternoon and then a brief hit into the 70s. It looks like towards the end of the day tomorrow. Decatur 74 will go 73 in Huntsville, Muscle Shoals, Scottsboro 72 and Fort Payne. You're almost at 70 there at 69 degrees. Here's a breakdown of your weight 31 storm tracker 10 day forecast after tonight and tomorrow morning. No problems the rest of the week. Even the upcoming Easter weekend looks good. Slightly cooler Wednesday, Thursday mornings will turn a little bit chillier for the second half of the week into the low 40s. But hey, we can handle that 72 on your good Friday. We head into the weekend Easter, of course, coming up on Sunday. Looks like it will be a warm Easter weekend when temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. More importantly, Looks like it'll be a dry Easter weekend. We'll hold off the next chance for rain until sometime around the early to middle part of next week. But uh, watching closely this evening tonight, and again, not necessarily a severe weather threat, just that these strong winds associated with the storm system coming through could cause a few issues out there later tonight. All right. Thanks, Jeff. You bet.